we'll move on and talk about uh, pediatric care of the ill or the hospitalized child. Um, I know it's hard to see um, the screen, but I did provide you with PowerPoints um, with the questions on them. So why is it important? Um, why is play therapy important? Because a child may not be able to communicate um, with us if they're ill or hospitalized, so they can communicate through play. Um, also for growth and development reasons, so we don't want them to get behind or um, have delayed growth and development because of their illness. Three main fears of the toddler or preschool during illness include the fear of the unknown, fear of abandonment or separation, and fear of mutilization. Mutilation, I'm sorry. Why is it important to decrease parent anxiety? And it's because the child can sense a parent's anxiety. So if a parent gets anxious or nervous or scared, then the child's anxiety will increase. Facilities have treatment rooms, so there's a safe zone. So the child can consider their hospital room, their hospital bed a safe area. Um, and they go to the treatment room for any um, invasive or painful procedures. Um, one way to promote growth and development in adolescent patients is to make sure they, they keep that contact with their peers. Um, peers are very important um, to your adolescent population, so we want to make sure that they maintain that um, during their hospital stay. Preparing a child for surgery, um, make sure you know to tell the child about the surgery the number of days as they are owed. So if they're seven years old, you tell them seven days ahead of time. If they're three years old, you tell them three days ahead of time. Nutritional health um, for ill children or hospitalized children. So make sure we're encouraging fluid intake. Offer small full glass of fluid. Um, they may perceive it as less than if you put, um, put, it, put it in a bigger glass. The use of straws is encouraged unless it's contraindicated from a certain procedure because you can have those fun straws that have that look like roller coasters. Remember popsicles are fluid, so a lot of kids will like popsicles. And play games to try, you know, play Simon Says. Simon Says take a drink of uh, water. Simon Says take a drink of juice. Um, promoting play, so ways to incorporate play into um, the, your nursing care. So use it to aid in your physical assessment. Um, you know, play Simon Says, allow the child to listen to uh, your heart with a stethoscope. Use puppets as teachers uh, when you're teaching and create puzzles um, with the information that you want the child to get or just a few ideas. Um, play therapy is very important um, if kids are hospitalized for, like we said, growth and development reasons. And if they're not communicating with us, we can, we can watch them play and learn a lot. Um, this is just a quick link to a video about play therapy. It used to be Cozier Children's Hospital, um, which is now Norton Children's. Art therapy, so kids may draw something that they actually won't tell you. Um, again, we're not trained to interpret these, um, but these are just some examples of some kids' drawings um, while hospitalized. Pain in children um, can um, be a little bit different than pain in adults. Um, one common misconception about pain is that if uh, in children is if the kids are playing that they're not in pain and that is false. Um, pain scales dependent upon your um, age group um, differs. The FLAC scale is an observational tool for um, kids two months to seven years of age um, where based upon our assessment findings we can give the pain a number. The Wong-Baker scale um, or the FACES scale, you'll hear it referred both ways, is um, where they can point to a smiley face or a frowny face. Um, it's appropriate for um, kiddos that are greater than three years of age. A visual analog scale is also referred to as the numeric um, scale. Um, you can also put faces um, in that category of a visual analog scale. 
Um, there's several distraction techniques that um, one can think of when a child's in pain um, that we could offer young infants or newborns. Swaddling would be an example of that. Um, they do use a lot of topical anesthetic cream for children um, for IV insertions and whatnot so it doesn't hurt as bad. Um, if a child had something painful such as an IV um, or something that they can get a hold of and pull out that would cause them pain if we had to redo it, then make sure we're covering that. For instance, like an IV site. Um, the preferred route for um, pediatric medication administration is by mouth. Um, just so we're aware that it's even though it may not be easy to get a kid to take um, a PO medicine, it is the preferred route. Um, AJ, an eight-year-old boy, returned from abdominal surgery. Um, you enter his room, he's lying motionless and flat in the bed, and he is grimacing. So pain scale-wise, um, we would use faces, numeric or visual analog scale. What would be a nursing intervention to help manage his pain? And that could be a medication administration and or distractions such as a video game. He's school age, so that would be appropriate. And then there's a few other examples in your PowerPoint that I'll let you um, try to answer. Um, the answers are in the notes section of your PowerPoint. Medication administration um, and IV therapy. We will start that on another play posit.